welcome back to another vlog i just finished <coughs> doing my workout for the day i walked until i hit two miles i moved my treadmill out in the living room just because i thought it would be easier to watch it on the big tv and to just kind of be out in the brightness my room's really dark during the day just because of where it's located in my house there's trees that are kind of surrounding it so it's not really the brightest and i felt more happy and more motivated to work out in the living room. I wish there was a space that I could just slide my treadmill out in the living room. Unfortunately, there's not. So I will move it back to my bedroom and put it under my bed just so it's not in the way. But workout's done for the day. I also need to do a restock of household items. So just mostly like cleaning, laundry supplies, things for the house. So I will do that today. And then I did get my package for my friend Gina. She sent me some cash budget stuffing stuff, some envelopes and different things. So I'm going to show you guys what she sent me so I can start my budgeting journey that I'm so, so excited for. I also did get a 100 envelope binder challenge. So it's where you save 100 envelopes and they're numbered 1 through 100. And it's to help you save $5,050. So I'm going to show you guys that binder because I did stuff it with uh, just a couple bills that I had. I actually had a 20 in there and I took it out. <laughs> so I'm going to have to replenish that today, but I will share that with you guys as well. And then later on, we're going to be making some Philly cheesesteaks. So stay tuned for that. This is also a mess from Lucy. She likes to stand in this plant and look out the window. And when she jumps out, this is what she leaves behind. So I'm gonna have to sweep that up here in a second. I would like to eventually get her a cat tree that I'm gonna place over in that window because she does stand up on that shelf where I kind of keep the kids umbrellas and stuff. But she tends to go on this one too when she's distracted by something out this window. But for now, my plant seems to be her like resting post. Thank you to Sweet Gina for sending me all of these things. She didn't have to do that, but she wanted to help me start my budgeting journey. So I really appreciate all of the cash envelopes, the binders to get me started. I'm so excited to start saving because I need to save. I've had so many different life changing things happen and I always felt like I've lived my life I'm prepared and scrambling to figure it all out. So budgeting and saving has been something I've talked about for years that I wanted to do. And I felt like this was the time. Me and her had a long talk and she kind of just told me all the benefits of what budgeting has done for her during life-changing situations and how without budgeting, she doesn't know how she would have made it through a lot of these things. I know I'm not the only one that has felt like they've always lived paycheck to paycheck or you're robbing Peter to pay Paul. I don't want to live like that anymore. So I know budgeting is something that I need to buckle down on. And I thank you, Gina, for helping me start that journey and pushing me towards the right direction to be able to do that for myself. So Gina actually makes pens and she made me this pen. You guys know Samir has autism. So when I opened it and I saw this, I was like, oh my God, that is so sweet. So thank you for making me this. I did not know she was sending this. That is sweet. Uh, this is going to be my purse wallet. So this is where I'm going to keep like my spending cash when I cash stuff. So I'm going to stash money in this that this will be used for my actual spending money so she made me one for groceries toiletries boys gas and miscellaneous so i really liked this wallet it's cute it has a little zipper for my change my coins and this will fit perfectly in my little purse and then this one here is going to be where I'm going to do my stuffing for like my necessity important things and things I want to save for. So she sent me this binder. How cute is this little puff thing? So cute. Has a zipper pocket there. And then she set up these envelopes for me. So there's the self-care. So Manny Petty. She put little tracker cards in there so I can write how much I, a goal I want to save for each icon. So if I want it to be $5, $10, and then I can color it in birthdays how cute 
home decor. She told me she thought that this one would be a good one for me since I like to decorate. I never thought about it. I can have a little saving towards my home decor spending. So if I want to add something new and cute, I can take from this. Lucy, so food, supplies, cat scratching pole or post. <laughs> this would be a good way for me to save for things for Lucy. Back to school. Now, I've always struggled. I would wait last minute until it's time to go back to school before I would buy everything. And then I'd be scrambling, trying to figure out how I'm going to pay for it. So this is genius to start saving towards that. And when it comes to that time, I will already have the money and I can just pull this out and then get clothes, school supplies, fees, all that good stuff taken care of. Car maintenance, which we know is very important. And sometimes it comes up in an emergency and I've always lived my life not having any money, not saving. So when I need to replace something, like back in September, I had to replace all four tires and my tie rod all at the same time. That was like $1,000, you guys. I didn't have the money for it and it put me in the hole. I had to use pretty much a paycheck that went towards bills to pay for these things because it was non-negotiable. So saving towards those emergencies is going to be a game changer for myself Car registration, this is something that's, you know, it's a small uh, fee that's once a year, but it's genius, you know, save $10 each time you get money, and then you have your car registration taken care of when it's that time. Here in Illinois, I think it's like 150 bucks, which is, I think, kind of steep. I remember back when it used to be like 50 <laughs> but I will have um, that money saved towards it, and I don't have to worry about it. Vacation. I do want to start planning and saving towards a vacation for the boys. I really want to take them to Disney. I've talked about it for two years, so this will be a good way for me to start stuffing money towards that. Family time, so this will be good for activities. You know, when it's the weekend, we want to go to our arcade or go to the movies, bowling. This will be money that I'll set aside for that. Thanksgiving, I do usually host Thanksgiving. So Gina asked me if I wanted a Thanksgiving uh, envelope, which I thought was a great idea since I'm usually footing most of that since I host it so I can save towards that. And then Christmas, that is something I used to always just do usually the end of November, Black Friday, but this would be a good way for me to save for Christmas throughout the year. So that's what she started me off with. I think this is a good ground space for me to start saving. I can always add more. I've had more ideas come into my head of things I would like to potentially save for, but these were important things for me that I wanted to set aside money. So that is that binder. She also sent me the savings challenge. Uh, looks like it's from Budget with Carly. Um, so Gina doesn't make or didn't sell any of these things anymore. She did used to have an Etsy shop, but she said she closed it. She took a break from it. So I know some of you may ask. You've seen these cute little envelopes. I will link her channel. You could definitely check out her videos. She shares a lot of budgeting, grocery hauls, just different videos. Gina's super sweet. You guys will absolutely love her. She's definitely inspired me, but she does not currently have an Etsy shop, and she's not selling that. So I just wanted to throw that out there in case some of you are asking or wanting her information. But she sent me this little challenge. I talked about wanting to do different challenges. So she did surprise me with this one. How cute is this little binder? And she knows lavender purple is my favorite color. So this is just a $500 saving challenge. Has that little card. So each envelope is marked with how much to put in it. And it'll equal $500. So I think this is a cute little fun challenge. And I can do it at my own pace, which I love. Forgot to mention, she did surprise me with something else back here. She put these in here. So once I've um, met my goal, I can put fully funded. So I know that that's done. And these are laminated so I can reuse them. She threw me a couple of those in there that she made. These gold crush so I can put the amounts. And <laughs> bag secured. How cute is that? She gave me a couple of those. And then this. I saw this and I thought that this was cool. It's mystery savings challenge. So I just scratch it off. And that's what's going to tell me how much to put in to do a saving. So she gave me two of those cards super cute this is the 100 envelope savings challenge that i was talking about i got this on amazon they have different colors for the binder i was originally going to make my own but it seemed like it was going to cost more and i didn't want to spend unnecessary money just to budget because i feel like that's what was intimidating in the past i felt like i had to have all of these things to budget and then you were spending money that you don't have to begin with when you're trying to save so i went on amazon they had tons of different ones and they were all under ten dollars and it came with everything i needed so this is the envelope. You have your pin snap there, card slots. It does come with the tracking cards. What was cool though, they gave you three. So I just have the other two cupped up there. And 
Imagine saving $15,000. How awesome would that be? That could be a down payment for a house, a new car, things for your children, their college funds. That's awesome. So the tracker, all the envelopes are labeled one through 100. I did start to fill it. I did take the 20 out because I needed cash for something. And this 10, I originally had a $10 bill in there, but I had an extra dollar left over at the time. So I actually moved it into the 11. So I do need to restuff those two. But the envelopes are clear and they already are numbered, which I liked. And I liked how I can see what's in it. And it's just all the way through 100. And then once you get to your five grand, you can start over. And it has this pocket back here and a pocket right there. Super cute. I will link this down below if you guys are interested. I know a couple of you have said that you are wanting to start this journey for yourself. So whatever I can do to help you guys set you guys up just like other people are doing for me, I will link this for you. I do wish Gina did sell and uh, make these, but you guys can go on plenty of different channels. I will link some other channels that I've found that have helped inspire me. And then you can always check out Etsy and there's different free uh, printable things you can find on Pinterest as well to make your own envelopes if you're just starting off like me. With that, I wanted to ask you guys to get a poll. I've had tons of you ask if I can share this journey that you would love if I would. I absolutely do want to share this journey. But my question is, um, today I'm going to stuff some stuff in there. But would you guys like me to do just a full on like cash stuffing video um, based on like pay periods and when I get the money and I have the cash to staff to stuff? I was thinking I would like to do it that way moving forward. So twice a month or monthly, I can get on and share what I was able to stuff in my envelopes to put towards my savings. Instead of mix it in with vlogs, let me know what you guys would think. Either way, I do want to share this journey. I know there's a lot of other women and moms like me who are scrambling and they want to get out of debt and they want to start this journey. So what better way than to do it with a rookie like myself and we can learn and do this together. But let me know in the comments how you guys would like to see that video. Today, I will stuff some envelopes in this video, but moving forward, I think I definitely do want to do it separate. Um, at one point, I did start a planning channel years ago. It was called Hot Mess Planner Mom. I still have the channel. I used to do plan with me videos on there. I thought about maybe doing the videos on there, but if there's one thing I can say that I've learned since doing YouTube for the last five, six years is that sticking to a niche has not really been my thing. I feel like there's so much of me beyond just cleaning, beyond just being a mom, beyond just planning. There's so much of Amber and this space, this platform, I don't want to feel restricted as if I can't share different things that I love and enjoy just because it doesn't go with the niche. If it means I'm going to grow slower, then so be it. I'd rather have real organic followers and supporters than people that are just expecting one thing when there's so much more to me than that. So I don't think I'm going to put it on a separate platform. I'm going to keep it on this channel because it's something that is a part of me. It's something that I'm wanting to do and I want to share it with you guys along with everything else. better not go I don't know who's worse her or my children I swear pets are children as well <laughs> it's like the boys when I'm cleaning you know they're terrorizing another room Lucy I just cleaned all that up and what'd she do put her little paws up there trying to do it again um my desk set up I want to get me um even if it's like a little organizer or something to kind of go underneath here so I can keep my stuff. I have my other budgeting planner set up 
right here. So this is where I write out all my expenses, my bills for the month. That planner's from Clever Fox. I did share that um, in a recent video. This I've been keeping underneath. This I'm going to put in my purse, so I'll get that out of the way. But I think I'm just going to set that. Oops. Right there. And then I've been keeping this one just down right here on top of my printer. I don't really use my printer a lot, so it works. And I have a notebook in my other like planner that I'm using to track um, like appointments, all good things like that. I need to clean that, but it works for now. And then I have my this book that I've been reading forever and then my self journal that I keep right here. This little desk, it's functional, it's working, but that's what it's looking like. And it flows with my living room, you know, it's not too cluttered, but I would, like I said, like to get some type of little shelf that matches um, my furniture because that matches my coffee table. I got my little book stand. So if I can find something to kind of conceal so I don't have a bunch of planners and books out, that'll work great. Quick, no, the boys do not touch anything on this desk. I know some of you are going to probably ask, like, how can you keep, you know, these little planners and pens and stuff? Samir, with him having autism, he has this thing with pens and pencils and markers. It's just like his, the way he stems where he holds the pencils and pens around. He has a designated drawer in the kitchen where I keep all that. So as soon as he gets home, he goes right to that drawer. He grabs out his pens, straws, whatever, and he's cool. If I don't do that, then he will come over here and touch stuff. But since he has his own stash, he doesn't mess with anything on my desk. Tank, he's really good. He could care less about anything on my desk. Occasionally, Lakin will sit and play games on the laptop. But other than that, I will say I'm very lucky the boys are at an age where they understand not to touch certain things. And this space, they don't mess with. So I need to go ahead and get some cash. And then I need to stop at the store and get the things that I need for my household restock. So this fits in there perfect. Something's in the way. I'm debating. I don't know if I want to leave my other wallet or not in here. I may or may not. I guess we'll see how it goes. I have like a lot of important other cards, like insurance cards and things like that. So I might just keep it, but this fits in there perfect. This is just a little bag. I have a lip gloss. Might be, I can readjust this later, but it works for now. Let's head to the store uh, and I need to get some cash, stop and get some cash from the bank. You guys, it is 11 days into April and I have spent zero unnecessary dollars on unnecessary things. I said I wanted to do a no spend challenge this month for April. I'm 11 days in and I am checking in to say I've only spent money on groceries and bills. I'm so proud of myself. We have 29 days left of the month. Do you think we can do it? I think we can do it. I am a little impressed. Not that I spent money like every single day, but iced coffees, those things add up and maybe grabbing the kids McDonald's or something like that. I have done none of that. I've been cooking at home, making my ice, co co ice coffees at home, and I have not been to Target or any unnecessary store buying stuff besides household items and things like groceries. So super proud of myself. I think I can do it. I hope you guys are doing good on your goals because that's just one thing that I know someone else had mentioned they wanted to do that challenge as well. Let me know how you're doing with it because I'm doing okay. I'm back home, you guys. I'm going to show you um, everything I got for my household restock. I did get me a treat. I'm hungry, and I guess this isn't the best way to break my fast, but this is like one of my favorite candy bars, and I have not had it in years. So I saw it when I was getting ready to check out, and I grabbed it. I'm just going to eat me one section of it. I'm going to start cooking here in a second just because I am starving. I haven't ate anything. But I wanted to show you guys everything that I got uh, for household cleaning items for the next uh, few weeks. So here is my household essentials. I needed to restock on all of household things. So we needed some more toilet paper. I got some Febreze plug-in refills. I found one under my cabinet. So I just did the two pack instead of getting a three pack. Because I have two more plug-ins to refill. I keep one in the boys' bathroom upstairs. And then one in Lakin's room just to keep it fresh up there because boys. 
I got two wax melts. This scent is like my favorite scent right now because it has like a sweet hint, but then it has like the floral. It's a good combination. So if you haven't tried this one, I recommend it. The, I think it's the Lemon Kitchen or, oh, I can't remember. Mrs. Myers Lemon or I can't remember. I'll find it and I'll link it. That's my other one. It's a lemon set, kitchen lemon or something like that. That's my second favorite wax melt from the Better Home and Garden. I got some Fabuloso. The reason I bought this, I've been using the Lysol Lemon, but I had a little bit of this left over from like a long time ago and I mopped the floors before the boys came home and Lincoln came in and he said, oh my God, it smells like so clean and different in here. What did you do? It smells just good. It smells clean. So I was like, oh, Fabuloso does smell good. And I haven't used it for a long time. So I said, you know what? I'm going to give me some more of that instead of using the Lysol Lemon. Uh, some paper towels. I only did the two pack because I think I have three rolls left uh, in the laundry room. So I just did two more that'll get us through for at least another week or two. I needed some more toilet bowl cleaner. So this is the kind that I use. It gets all those stains out. I need to dust really bad and I have two dusters but no refills. So they had this 10 pack and I think it was like under six bucks for a pack of 10. We needed some more laundry stuff. So this is the laundry combo that I've been using forever. So I just used Arm & Hammer. I was using the other Arm & Hammer boost, scent boosters, but I tried this one and this takes my laundry to another level. I was at my brother's house and his best friend's fiance was cuddled up with one of the boys' blankets. And she's like, oh my God, this blanket smells so good. Like, what do you use? And I was like, it's this stuff. And that blanket, I had washed that blanket like two weeks before. And the fact that it still smelled so fresh and clean, I had to buy me another one of this. And then I just used Snuggles of a fabric softener. And then we needed some more air fresheners to put in the bathrooms. And that was all of our household restock. I'm gonna start on my Philly cheesesteak. I'm gonna take all of that stuff out. But also, I'm gonna make me an iced coffee real quick to so you guys know how I shared in my last video that I bought these Dunkin' Cold Brew. I bought the caramel flavor. I did buy them again, but I just did the original flavor. They're only $3.99. I got them at Walmart. But when I made it, I told you guys that the coffee was like super, super bitter. So a couple of you suggested that I dilute it with more water, which I did. At first, I put it in one of these, hold on, these big mason jars I have. I don't even know how many ounces these are. I want to say 20. Um, so I was putting it in there at first, but then I was like, oh my gosh, I have another way because the lid I had, I didn't like how I had to take it off and pour and I was spilling it. So I started making it in my French press and it turns out perfect. It's not super strong. I mastered it. And instead of getting one coffee, I'm getting at least four coffees out of this size. I don't know how many ounces. I'm going to see. I don't know if this says how many ounces it is. I can't tell because I have stuff in it. But this was um a French press that I got from Walmart for 10 bucks. It's the Paris Hilton brand. So freaking cute. I got this a couple months ago. And I've been making my iced coffee in there. And it's getting me at least four coffees out of this. So I definitely have found my recipe for at home. And $4 gets me six packs. And six packs gets me four coffees each winning you want coffee yeah okay let's go make our coffee come on come on come on Let's make our coffee. You gonna help me make coffee? Yeah?
since this is empty, I'm going to make me another batch. So be ready for tomorrow. You see, since it's the French press. And I will say, um, I've made brewed coffee the same way. Because French press coffee, the flavor is just a, a bolder, richer coffee in my opinion. Which I really like. Um, but the only difference that you were doing, you would take your ground coffees, put them at the bottom, and you would put hot water just to make like a hot coffee if you were wanting hot fresh coffee. But cold brew, it's the same concept. You're just going to put your grounds in and you're going to let it sit overnight. That's where it's like brewing. So you let it at least sit for 10 to 12 hours. So I'm like, you know what? This French press like comes in handy and it's like perfectly convenient for it. So we're going to make us another batch in here to see if it still says how many ounces. I'll have to look on the website. I'm not sure, but the ounces isn't on the bottom of this, but I love this thing. And it's so freaking cute. I had it out on my coffee bar with my Valentine's decor, but since then it was stored away. And now I've been using it to make my cold brew. So that's 20 ounces, so that means that is definitely more than 20 ounces. I'm gonna do 16. So it's 36 ounces. That's not bad. Then I'm just gonna stir this up. Oh, that straw's dirty. I always can tell when Samir's been in my cabinet drawer. Just gonna stir it so you can get all those grounds stirred up. See how it's kind of chunky at the bottom? And I got my cold brew, I'm gonna throw it in the fridge and it's good and ready for tomorrow. So I'm gonna make french fries with this and I have some leftover vegetable oil. Typically I would put the french fries in the air fryer but I'm trying to use that oil and get rid of it. So I'm just gonna cook it in there. My steak, I always just get the pre-diced chopped up steak just to save me a step. I do this every time I'm like making anything that involves like steak whether it's for um Beef and broccoli, Philly cheese steaks, fajitas, whatever. I usually always buy it like that. For my seasonings, you guys know I always get slap your mama. I have, let's see, some garlic salt I'm gonna use. I have some basil. For some reason, my basil's disappeared. Got some basil I'll put in there. And I have some Mrs. Dash. I'm gonna season this up really good. I'm gonna turn this oil on too so I can be cooking my french fries at the same time. Got a medium heat. <clears throat> I'm gonna chop up some peppers and onions to throw in here. I'm gonna turn my oven on because I like to kind of roast them in the oven at the end to put my um, cheese on top.
up and my steak mixture is cooking, I'm gonna clear out the sink, wipe off the counters, just so all I have to do is throw that pan in after I'm done cooking. One of my sweet subscribers sent these to the boys uh, for their lunches. I made a video where I was asking like, how can I keep the boys' lunches hot? I typically am wrapping things in like tin foil and she messaged me on Instagram and said that she would like to send the boys these. She did order one for Samir as well that hasn't arrived, but these two came today. So I'm gonna wash these and the boys will be excited to use these. I figured these would be perfect for Tank. He loves noodles. I can put noodles in there, nuggets, fries, whatever for him. And it'll kind of give him a better variety of lunches as I felt like I was making them the same thing every day. It was like Lunchables, peanut butter and jelly, corn dogs, and that was it. Um, so super grateful that she sent these for the boys. These are from Hydro Peak. And it says that it keeps food cold for 16 hours and hot for 10. Interested? I can't wait to use these for the kids. I saw this cooking, so I'm gonna stir this up and I want my meat to burn or overcook. I think my oil is ready, so I'm gonna throw my french fries in so those can start cooking. You guys know I've talked about the fast food french fries or the boys and my favorite. I saw that they had these extra crispy crinkle cut fries from that same Oriana brand. Okay, that was just super scary. The dishwasher just like opened by itself. Okay. <laughs> Woo, they kind of gave me a mini heart attack. But I tried these. I saw them. They had them at Javi. That's the only place I found them. They are so good. So these are what I'm going to make for my french fries today. They taste like the good french fries you get at restaurants. You know how some of the restaurants have like those crinkle cut fries? These taste like it. what's going on with my dishwasher but I'm gonna run these glasses through again because they don't look like they really got clean the best I think I kind of overfilled it so we're gonna put those back through I was gonna put them away but I'm like those are still pretty dirty some of these bowls weren't really the cleanest either so I have no idea what happened with that last cycle that I ran but we're gonna rewash all of these two different cheeses. I have some Monterey Jack and some mozzarella. So I'm going to sprinkle that in, let it cook, and then I'll put mozzarella on top and I pop it in the oven. So I have these sausage rolls. I couldn't find um, French roll breads for some reason. This is all I could find. Um, but I'm going to make me uh, like a butter. So when I put it in the oven, I'm going to make butter with garlic and add some garlic powder to butter all of the rolls with. And it's going to be chef's kiss. I'm just going to put the rest of this in. I'm probably going to need a little bit more butter, but we're going to start with this for now. Stuff here because I'm gonna throw it in the microwave just for a couple seconds to kind of soften it. Add a little bit of garlic, then I'll take some of that garlic salt and pop this in the microwave. This is 
about the consistency I want. So it's not completely melted, but it's soft enough for me to spread it on the bread. Just gonna blend that up without spilling it everywhere. I swear sometimes I can be like so messy when I cook. I cook like a five-year-old. Good enough. This comes with six rolls. I'm gonna see if I can fill all of these. Cause I only got one pack of meat. Typically I do two, but for whatever reason, I only bought one pack. These are perfect size though. This is typically the size of bread that I get when I make my fillies. I'm just gonna open these up. Ooh, the bread is nice and soft. This one is a cut. Barely. Looks like they have cut it. There we go. are ready. Look at that. They look perfect. Boss Mom's Restaurant coming soon. <laughs> totally kidding. Once I got my uh, sandwiches all stuffed up, I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle the mozzarella cheese all on top, add a little bit of basil. I do spray it with some avocado oil spray just so I can sprinkle some seasoning on top and to kind of help crisp the bread a little bit better. And then I'm gonna put it in the oven until the cheese melts, so about around 10 minutes or so. finally starting to warm up here you guys it is going to be 80 degrees this sunday which i am so excited for i really think i'm going to clean out my grill and possibly grill some food for me and the boys on sunday i did cut my grass for the first time this week because my neighborhood if you guys are new here i've talked about in past videos i've lived in this house for two years now but the neighborhood i live in it's like battle of the yards every spring and summer I'm not kidding. It's like clockwork. So the other day on a Saturday, all the neighbors were outside cutting the grass, trimming up the yard, and I felt like I had no choice. So two days ago, I finally got out there. I trimmed the grass, trimmed, <laughs> I cut the grass, and I raked all the leaves in the backyard. I just need to put them in bags. So my backyard is not 100% ready, but I'm going to be doing a video where I'm going to finish getting the leaves all picked up and bagged. And then I do plan to spray paint my patio table that I have back there that was gifted to me 
when I moved into this house. It is just really old and worn out. I would like to spray paint it black and possibly I wanna get new cushions, but cushions are a little expensive, so I'm gonna save. I feel like I have two more months until summer really starts anyways, so I have time to save up for the cushions. But that'll be a video I plan to share with you guys. It'll just pretty much be a backyard cleanup, getting it all ready and organized for the warm summer months ahead. french fries and here's our pillies yum i'm already devouring my food i'm gonna eat my food the boys will be getting off the bus so food will be ready for them we're just having early dinner tonight so that means we'll definitely have snacks uh before bed and it is shower night so they'll get showers and all of that and then probably eat a snack head to bed if you guys enjoyed hanging out with me for the day a huge thank you to Gina again. You guys go check out her channel. Show her some love. Subscribe to her channel. She has really good content. And if you are on a budgeting journey, she will definitely motivate you and help you get started on that. Her videos are very informational. And I've learned a lot. And I will just say she's definitely inspired me to embark on this new journey. And I feel really confident that I'm going to do really good at it. And that's a good thing about budgeting and just saving you can always start over. So even if you feel like you're not doing good, start over. Tomorrow is a new day. But until the next video, stay beautiful, stay blessed, and don't forget how strong and powerful you are.